hello welcome back to my youtube channel a quick one before i go wherever i want to go welcome back kwanza if you have already subscribed thank you so much thank you so thank you so much for supporting me and if you have not yet subscribed please don't pass by subscribe subscribe and hit that notification bell so that whenever i post a new uh, whenever i post a new video you become among the first person to see so today i want to share something you know everybody in life wants to go far kila mtu anataka to go far kila mtu you know in your career in your work in your workplace in your in your job where you serve you want to go far you want to, there are those people that we always see and we want to meet them and um, my husband said something that i i i i felt that is so helpful he was just saying that if you want to go far these three things can be a key you know there are small small things that makes us not to to reach where we want to reach you know people think that it is big 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 things that will make you to go far but those small small things that we ignore those are the small things that blocked us for block us from going far so number one thing according to my husband he said if you want to go far you want you you have to always tell yourself that i don't know anything are you do you sing always tell yourself i don't know anything in terms of preaching the preachers pastors always have this spirit of I don't know anything. Do you do business? Do you go to China? Do you have connections? Always tell yourself that I don't know anything. You know, if you have this kind of spirit, it will help you even to learn from others. It will help. Uh, it will help uh, always to to want to learn to learn more. We will learn until the day we will die. When you are still on earth, you will you you always have something to learn from others. So always I can pray, I can sing, I can do this and this. It will block you from learning from others. You know, when you go somewhere, behave as if you don't know anything. Even the Bible says that we have to behave like if uh, the Bible says that if you think you know no actually you don't know anything so those people who know they are very quiet learn how to keep quiet and so that we can learn from others so if you want to go far in whatever you do in everything that you do uh, tell yourself that you don't know anything number two if you want to go far if you want to to reach somewhere uh, far from where you are right now always tell yourself that i have not yet arrived when you tell yourself that you have arrived you will you will sit down you will cross your your hands and that is why i always hear people saying at this person the way is rich if someone who knows that he have a fika someone who knows that i have not yet arrived in fact, anaongeza bidi, anaongeza bidi, anaongeza bidi. Do you, you have built one house? You have not yet arrived because there are some who has two. You have you have two, three. You have not yet arrived because there are someone who has ten houses. You have ten houses. You have not yet arrived. Sababu kuna watu wako na kijiji chote. So don't be settled for the few things that you have you have made in life. So always tell yourself i have not yet arrived i have not yet arrived i have not yet arrived Kuna mahali nataka nifike. when you have that spirit it will make you to work hard to push hard so that you can go far number three the another thing that he said is to be humble humble yourself humble yourself don't look down on anyone because anyone on earth can help you even the small child even the someone that you never imagine be humbled who if you want to go far if you want to reach far if you want to to uh to accomplish all your dreams and go far in life be humble be humble listen to kila mtu be humble to before rich be humble before poor people be humble just be humble what when you wanna fika gambali 
there are people who are very very humble so uh learn how to be humble learn how to be humble be humble to others be humble to your colleagues be humble with them uh, submit to your bosses and you will go far those are the words the keywords that my husband was sharing that when you want to go far number one always behave as if you don't know anything even if you know more always have that idea of wanting to learn from others uh, from having that space of learning number two always tell yourself that you have not yet arrived and number three humble yourself be someone who is humble thank you so much may the lord bless you so much until next time thank you so much